Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so flippin' excited, guys. I'm in Tallahassee, and I feel like I've come to the last few times thinking I would really, really love to do a video or feature them, but I think that the last time I was here, I hadn't even started mukbang yet. So now, I'm in Tallahassee, I'm a mukbanger, I've been craving this sushi. This is a place that I used to work at when I was, when, when I was in college. A place that made me start liking sushi and I crave it all the time. So I was like, I absolutely have to come here to Masa to do a mukbang. Let's go check out the inside and then I'll show you my setup and we will get started. Some of them were, some of them weren't, but it's gonna be great. We're gonna get like a little sushi boat and it's gonna look awesome, I'm really excited. Again, I apologize for the noise. I love to film outside. I just love the lighting. Plus again, it is so beautiful here today. I could not be inside. So I worked here for two years. I think like maybe a year and a half actually while I was in college, which seemed like an eternity back then. And I actually didn't really like sushi or eat sushi when I started because I'm such a fat ass. Like I would literally just like, if people didn't eat, you guys are gonna think I'm so gross. If somebody didn't touch their sushi, like if a table like ordered like an, an enormous amount of sushi and they didn't like even touch a couple of the rolls, I would freaking, I'd be so hungry during my shift. I would just start eating that person's sushi. I know, I'm like really, really gross, guys. But what they'd also do is they would make a bunch of sushi for us at the end of some of our shifts. And because I am just like a hoover when it comes to eating, this is not just when I started mukbang, guys. I've had a big appetite my whole life and I would just like pounce on whatever food that they were gonna give us. So I started out with the rolls that like had a lot of stuff in them. You know, you can't really tell what you're putting in your mouth when there's like seven to ten ingredients in a roll and then i moved on to some of the more basic rolls and then i started eating like nigiri which is the rice with the fish on top that's also called just sushi and then i went into sashimi and here i am now eating things like giant sashimi flowers or just like a giant filet of salmon raw and people are like what the hell and i'm like we all start someplace so they still have the exact same little tea things which are so cute. I feel like a lot of restaurants have these, so it's not really that special to Masa, but whatever. I got some green tea because it's a little chilly outside. Yes. This is gonna be so nostalgic. I'm so excited. Okay, so I got, and I'll show you which one's which when it gets here. I got a vegetarian spider roll. So a regular spider roll is fried soft shell crab. This is actually like a bundle of vegetables tempura fried in place of the soft shell crab. And it's got cream cheese, spicy mayo and eel sauce on top. And I believe there's like spring mix inside. Love it, it's like super crunchy. Cream cheese goes really well with it. The other one I got, I'm sure you guys have heard of a volcano roll before. Usually a California roll and it's got spicy baked seafood on top. The roll that I got is called the Dirty Harry roll and they just put the spicy seafood mix on top without heating it up. I actually really like it way better than a volcano roll because I think volcano roll like separates, like when you're like torching mayo and that kind of stuff, it can tend to be a little greasy. 
So Dirty Harry roll, really excited about that. And then I got this surf and turf roll, which, oh my gosh, I've like, I've never had such a good surf and turf roll. I don't know if, <laughs> if it was just because it was a long time ago. We'll find out. It is basically a shrimp tempura roll. I forget what else is inside. And they put beef, like tenderloin on top, and then they torch it. So, so good. It's a good size, it's not too big. I love it. Anyways, I'll show them to you when they get out here. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> the time has come, I'm dying. All right, chopsticks ready. The surf and turf roll is in the middle, and it looks like that just has cream cheese, avocado, shrimp tempura inside, with the seared beef on top, with eel sauce, sesame seed, scallion. I was right about the description for the veggie, or yeah, the veggie spider roll. Vegetables, tempura fried, spring mix, eel sauce, spice mayo on top, and then avocado crab is inside of the dirty hairy roll, and it's just to be spicy crab mix on top, unheated. I'm going for the Dirty Harry. It's been so long since I've had you. <sighs> oh my God. Their spicy crab mix is so good. It's so saucy. So if you're a spicy mayo person, you would absolutely love it. Really nicely spicy. Surf and turf. The beef is actually like pretty thick on top and it has this like really nice like torch toasted flavor but you still get like the texture of the meat and i'm actually not even like a huge cream cheese and sushi person anymore but both of these rolls are so good with it it just adds <clears throat> a tang and a creaminess i just love it i don't need a reason These end pieces are enormous. All right, I'm gonna try to get you guys to see the inside of this without it falling everywhere. <laughs> All right, well, I tried. Huge, huge bite.
the fried vegetables make it. It just brings it over the top. And spring mix, like I'm not a lettuce person in sushi either, but it adds like a different kind of crunch to this. So it's got like two levels of crunch inside. I don't want to steal all the topping from the next piece, but I've got to do what i got to do here. So good. <clears throat> this is a really good variety too. Mm. Mm. Guys, I'm all for saving the planet but paper straws are the worst invention of all time. They're terrible. I never even use straws. I go to a restaurant, people bring me a glass. I'm fine drinking it without a straw. Shane says he can't drink it without a straw because the ice gets in the way. I'm like, <laughs> and there's people that literally can't drink anything without a straw. If you ask me, people that like straws are the ones killing the planet, not the straws. It's the people paper straws they disintegrate they like collapse and disintegrate and then you need to get another one so now you need like two to three paper straws every single time seaweed salad i love seaweed salad by the way i'm not sure how bad it is for me i gotta look up the macros because everyone pretty much uses the same seaweed salad also the same dressing on it it tastes exactly the same almost everywhere. So I think the way that they get their crab mix like this, I don't think I add enough sauce at home. And anytime I'm making like a spicy crab mix like this, I'm making it like right before I'm about to use it. And I feel like the key is letting it just kind of marinate in the spicy mayo mixture, maybe even overnight, just to like soften it up even more. Cause mine's always kind of like, not stiff it's just not like this soft so next time that's what i'm gonna try That's seriously so good. <clears throat> so I came in here yesterday to chat with them. One of the guys in the kitchen, his name is Manuel. He would always make me cream cheese wontons. I would get into work and he'd be like, cream cheese wonton? I'm like, <laughs> this is why I gained weight in college. 
I think I said that yesterday with Super Paros too. There were several things. Mostly the weed though. Yep, college was definitely my time. I was pretty straight laced in high school. I didn't do anything really wrong. My parents kept a very tight leash on me. So naturally when I got to college, I like pierced my nose, got a tattoo, and started smoking a bunch of weed, you know, in protest of all the things that I didn't get to do in high school. And I pretty much smoked all through college. Meanwhile, I lived within walking distance of a Gumby's, which is a pizza place. If you went there and picked up, it was like $5 for a pizza. Stupid. And then Super Paros, I could also have walked to. So we would just get like Super Stone and go to Super Paros and get, and they're like Colombian hot dogs, so good. They're like enormous hot dogs. So we'd get that, or it'd be like four in the morning and we want pizza, so we'd walk over to Gumby's. Terrible idea. And then when I started working here, I was living in a different place. And so this is really where I got like my fat ass on. Just be like that crazy mother after work like begging the sushi chefs to make us sushi and like hovering until it was done I'm so happy that I still have these rolls guys Yes, like it's gorgeous outside right now, but I'm in the shade. <laughs> like, somewhat convulsing because I'm shivering. <laughs> I have a jacket in the car, but I've worn the jacket in like the last five or six videos I've done. You guys are gonna think I don't own any other clothes. That guy is enormous. <sighs> I feel like after this I should go take a walk around campus. It seems like a really, really good day to do that. It's so beautiful here. God, I'm almost done because I'm slowing down hard, guys.
God, my hands are shaking. All right, let me see if I could show you guys this again. I'll show you the other side too. It just looks so impressive. am I going to get this in my mouth? <clears throat> That's what she said. No small plates. <laughs> it's so big. You know what's so good about this veg? There's like little onion rings inside. It was part of its onion and it's fried. So it's like there's onion rings inside this roll. That was amazing and it has to hold me over for I don't know how long it's gonna be until I come back but at least that long I would actually love to come back during football season in the next few years Shane's a Gator I'm a Seminole and so I'd love to come back here when there's a game going on I'd really love for Shane and I like every other year or every three years so that we're in a different at a different school age time but I'd love to come down and like go to UF for the UF FSU game and then come to Tallahassee a few years later. The weather is really beautiful that time of year and there's like really nothing like the spirit that's in the air during games. All right guys, I'm super full. I'm gonna go do some work, do some editing, enjoy this beautiful day and yeah, I'll link Masa's website below so you can take a look at their menu, you can see where they're located, all sorts of stuff. And if you're in the Tallahassee area, you should definitely come try it out. <laughs> comment below what you thought about this video. Not entirely sure what my next mukbang is going to be, but comment below what you want it to be. What would you like to see me eat next? Alright guys, on that note, I'm peacing out. I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.